Hi guys, my name is Kimmy and I read sometimes. Kill that urge to be chosen. Choose yourself. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be sitting here today because I finally got the nerve up to film. Today we're gonna be just doing the booktube tag because I even though I've been here for a little over a year, I've barely been on booktube just because I I get in my own head, okay? I get in my own way. We are going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. I'm really excited um, because I saw somebody else do it and it just looked like a lot of fun. Well, I just kind of wanted to introduce myself. I don't feel like I've really talked too much on here besides like books and like, I mean, that's basically it. So we're going to have a little chit chat, get to know each other, go grab you a drink. I have my brewmate here with me, Trusty Dusty. It's the only cup. Oh my gosh, that actually looks like product placement. It is not. But it's the only cup that like actually keeps ice in there for like 24 hours. Anyways, let's get cozy. Let's get cozy, guys. Let's get cozy. Okay, first question. Why did you start this channel? Well, I started this channel a little bit over a year ago just because I wanted to talk to you guys like in a longer format. And I have wanted to start a YouTube channel for a very, very long time. But I never got around to doing it because first of all, I went to a public school. I went to a PWI and I was just scared of being judged period and then I went to college and I couldn't even breathe in college talk less of sit down and film a full-length YouTube video and edit it so that wasn't a thing but then I graduated and I was like after my happy happy I was like you know what let's do it let's sit down let's talk to the babes okay let's have a little chit chat yeah, for those of you guys who don't know I have a degree in computer engineering um and I double minor too in math and computer science and I just never want anybody to forget that because I fought for my life those four years to get that damn degree, okay? And then I took my grad picks and Sizzle reposted it. The grad picks are a replica or like a remake of the cover of Control because this is one of my favorite artists of all time and Control is one of my favorite albums of all time. So for the second question, it's what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to YouTube? Um, I don't know myself, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I don't know, Um, I mean, I'm just sitting down chit chat and I feel like my commentary is fun for some people. I like like talking a lot. So if you guys ever want like me to react to like a movie or TV show, I will. I love those YouTube videos. I find them so funny and I have so much to say. I am that person during watching a movie. Like if I'm watching at home, I will pause and talk. Um, only when I'm comfortable with the people like, you know, or like it's, I've watched the movie multiple times. I won't do that if we're only watching it for the first time. But anyways, yeah, I just feel like I can bring my perspective. Maybe that's a unique thing. I don't know. Besides that, I'm just a chatterbox. Like, I can't quit yapping. I'll tell you that much. So for the third question, it's what am I most excited for for this YouTube channel? I mean, just to talk more. TikTok might be getting banned in the States, which is just so annoying, but I'm from TikTok. That's where I originally started. Um, basically how I even entered the book space in the first place was that I was rereading Percy Jackson during the pandemic. And you know how your phone has like the FBI agent in it and it's a lot What's going on, babes? What's going on? That's what they were doing on my phone, okay? So I immediately, when I was on, when I was reading Percy Jackson, I opened my phone and I went on TikTok and immediately started seeing book-related content. And I did not know there was book-related, like, I didn't know people sat down and talked about books. I had no idea about booktube. I had no idea about anything. Like, I found about book talk first. So then I saw videos, but I didn't see, there was not a lot of black creators on book talk back then. I think maybe it was like two that I knew of. And so I was like, whoa lack of diversity on social media crazy i'm gonna have to change that and so i um kind of in my head to the way my mind works is that i'll hear an audio or i'll see a video and i'll be like oh my gosh this could be related to books or like this relates to a book i just finished so i'll sit down and i'll record that so i just got in my head a little bit about it and so i recorded some videos but then i wasn't gonna post it right and so um i first did like a little teaser like if you look at my very very first video it's like for the graphic novels of Raven and Beast Boy because I really like the illustrator. His name is Gabriel Piccolo and he does an amazing job. But anyways, so my second video was like a, a book talk, you know, intro thing where it was like my name, my age, my favorite color, that that like little silly audio. I'll put my video here. My name, my favorite book and my favorite author, my sign, my favorite series. I look like a baby. I feel like I look like an infant. It's so tiny. 
tiny, so tiny. And so um, from that, I immediately gained like a lot of love, like big creators, um, like Amen, Pauline, they were like, hey girl, hey, and I was like, oh my God. And so I, it was instant gratification, I just kept doing it. And I gained 10K in my first month and then things slowed down. But yeah, I've been here ever since. I joined book Instagram. I think a year after that because all my friends were on bookstagram like literally I joined bookstagram because my friend Carrie books created a bookstagram and I was like you know what I'm in it because I saw so many people over there and they were like it's so peaceful over here because bookstack has a lot of drama it had a lot of more public drama this time people are just shady kind of um but yeah bookstack has a lot of drama so I was like let me go to some a free free of mind space let me let me get out of here and it, it really is brain empty to this day. I, I just have a lot of fun with Bookstagram. I post whatever. Um, I don't feel like I have a cohesive aesthetic, but people tell me my page is aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> don't mind if I do. I'll take that compliment any day. And then, yeah, and then um, some people were like, oh my gosh, Kim, you should make a YouTube channel. And I was like, that's crazy because I want to, but I don't know who cares enough to hear me talk. So I was like, okay, I guess. And so, yeah, here I am. And I've been here for a while. I sucked a lot last year, but in my defense, I was grieving for some of it so okay number four why do you love reading i love reading because it's my form of escapism i was in college when i first started like truly reading the pandemic gave everyone ample amount of time to do literally anything and so i was like oh my gosh i can finally reread percy jackson because i had somehow ended up on percy jackson twitter <laughs> I didn't know the fandom was so alive. I didn't even know like so much, like I didn't know fan fictions were a part of that. I didn't know like anything. So when I got thrusted into that world, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. I'd love to be a part of it. And so I just love the culture when it comes to reading. It's just, a, it's a place where I can finally breathe. When I was little, like the first series I got obsessed with was the Percy Jackson series. And then I read a lot of other ones that really just changed my perspective, like Out of My Mind. That's a really good um, book. The girl on the box or the milk carton, which is like the girl who went, got kidnapped. She didn't realize she was kidnapped. She saw her baby picture like on the milk. I read that at like eight, you know? And my mom, she used to be a teacher as well. So when we were little, it was really ingrained in us to read. And when I say us, I indeed mean us. I am the oldest sibling of four kids, first generation. Yep. I mean, during summers, we would get like a book a week and have to write reports on those books as to what like the book taught us. And my mom would read through those reports. That actually kind of made me not like reading. But I got back into it when I got older. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's it's just really a space to learn about experiences that you'll never get to experience firsthand. Like me as a first gen black woman, I would never get to experience the POV of a Latinx first generation student, you know, and I can read that. And I can read the POV of so many experiences I've never got to experience, disabilities I never even knew of or how they affect. It's just, it's really educational and then the love stories, I'm a romance, predominantly romance reader, so the love stories are entrancing. It's just so much a part of the reading world that can just show you different universes, and it's amazing. And I'm not even talking about fantasy, which literally puts you in an entire different world. It's amazing. That's why I love reading. Number five, what big series got you into reading? If it's not obvious enough, I've said it already, it's Percy Jackson. I'm a really big Percy Jackson girly. I'm not even wearing, I'm actually wearing out on a limb merch right now, Hannah Bonham Young, threaded by Sabrina um use code give me 10 for 10 percent off um <laughs> i have a lot of percy jackson merch i'm just a big percy jackson kid i don't know it, i feel like that's how harry potter kids feel but i never read harry potter growing up and i watched harry potter for the first time last year in may and, and it was cool but still poj kid to the core question number eight is what questions would i ask my favorite booktubers let me tell, I, I think I already said it, but I did not know anything about booktube. I didn't even know all booktube existed. I still don't really watch booktube, but I really like my friend Mika. Um, she's a cool person. So I talk to her all the time though. So I would just ask her, how's her day? <laughs> I'd ask her how her day is. Um, I don't know. I don't really watch anyone on here, like with pure intention of let me get my book filled besides Mika and maybe my friend Mayo as well. But besides that, I don't know, I just feel like since I read so much and so much of my social media presence is connected to books, I'll just talk to them over there. Like if there's a question to be asked, I literally DM authors with my live react. That's how I first meet people. Like I'll be like, hey girl, I know we haven't talked before, but I'm reading your book right now and I'm losing my mind. That's literally how it goes. Like, and then the authors respond or don't. Um, but I, I think I've had 
oh my gosh sorry guys i think i had most authors respond and be like thank you so much for picking up my book you are hilarious or like thank you so much i love your feedback no one ever sounds like my book and those i feel like i'm doing my job for real you know like i want all the authors out there to know how much you are loved and appreciated because writing is no easy feat i don't know how y'all do it well i do i'm writing i write like a little bit here and there but to write a full-length novel and keep pumping them out <laughs> somebody get her, her flowers somebody get her her flowers before i get upset you know question number nine is what challenges would be the hardest um with book two i think consistency only because i hate editing <laughs> like uh, that is the only reason besides that i'd be sitting down here talking to y'all every day okay um it's fun for me but yeah editing and i know a lot of people are like i can edit for you but i like i said i feel like i just know my mind and people just might not be able to hit that i don't know how i got to question number that was question number seven not nine i don't know how i jumped there <laughs> okay question number eight is when did you start reading i explained that probably consistently when i was in fourth grade i did stop reading for a long period of my life and only started reading back up again during the pandemic i don't know why i forget to say that i was just really big on finding what you love to read and so she would always guide us always help us with that stuff and that kind of kind of stuck with me um she was also like she was such like a frail woman like it was her personality like we knew not to really mess with her because she was just so frail <laughs> like now that i think about it she would just be like guys can you please pick up your books and get to chapter eight i have a migraine and it just be that it just be that but she was really soft spoken really sweet and i think that just stuck with me the whole persona of her i was like i gotta pick up a book question number nine for real this time is where do you read i literally read everywhere i was at a party i think two days ago and i was reading at like midnight i was reading the fake out by stephanie archer i read everywhere i listen to audiobooks driving so i'm getting my consumption reading there if y'all see this right here this is my kindle holder thing it holds my kindle i got for black friday and then i have a clicker that like literally when i lay down it flips the page for me and if you guys want that i have a video on tiktok and in the comments of that just just comment down below i'll give you the links i don't know why i was trying to do all of that i'll give you the links if you want it's really nice um yeah i read literally everywhere everywhere i can i'll read underwater if i could um i'll do it everywhere i love it i love it last but not least we have question number 10 which is um which kind of books do you read like what are your favorite genres my all-time favorite genre is murder mystery romance and it's not an official genre but it is the best one imagine reading a, like i'm a very big murder mystery girl i used to be a true crime girl and then i got spooked out irl because some events happened to me <laughs> trauma and i was like i'm never gonna do that again because it spooks me out but um i love reading good murder mystery because i know it's fake um so yeah murder mystery imagine like trying to solve a murder and then you fall in love with like you could you could fall in love with the murderer you could fall in love with your best friend you could fall it's just so good like where romance is the subplot i have a whole video on this i can do like a whole full length tiktok or youtube video on this but i have done a tiktok video where i just talked about my absolute favorite murder mystery romances romance as is my biggest obvious predominant genre but murder mystery and romance especially if it's in a small town oh my gosh icing on the cake it's so good um it doesn't need to be in a small town though i think it eats it either way but i like secluded environments for my murder mysteries like small towns or schools like boarding schools are really secluded um yeah i mean i just love it i love it so much yeah and then obviously romance because we love the typical happily ever after i like my books being predictable a lot of people are like romance is so boring it's predictable not your honor babe go ahead and pick up historical or something i don't know um but i will say um genres that i will never touch probably like a true hardcore sci-fi like i like sci-fi tv shows but sci-fi books ugh, snooze fest um straight horror books absolutely not i'll never touch stephen king books never without with a 10-foot pole i wouldn't do it i know myself why would i do that to myself um also don't like horror movies i'm not a horror girl i don't like them i like slasher movies those are funny like chucky or scream i'm i'm giggling but genuine horror, like if you're trying to sit me down and be like, yeah, let's watch The Nun. You're sick. What are we watching The Nun for? No, after you watch this movie, what are you going to do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just can't. I can't. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a hopeless romantic. It just ties into like, let's 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 keep it happy today. Can we smile today? Is it okay if we smile today? And yeah, I'll put some of my favorite books on the screen right here. Um, that's just romance in general. And I don't have a favorite book. I, a lot of people be like, what's your favorite book? I don't know. If you have a favorite book, man, either you're really like precise on your stuff. And it like that one book really changed the way you view the earth or you're a liar or you're a liar a lying liar who lies a lying liar who lies um uh, but yeah i don't know yeah those are my favorite genres i can talk about my favorite tropes too my favorite tropes um overall trope is proximity and proximity is uh, like forced proximity is an umbrella trope because there's so much that fits under there marriage of convenience marriage in crisis pre accidental pregnancy trope which is one of my favorites i know a lot of people got something to say and if you have something to say Keep it quiet. Thank you. I think there's a lot like, yeah, anything to do with arranged marriage in their fake dating, right? That's forced proximity. Snowed in. Oh my gosh. I read this accidental pregnancy snowed in small town romance. I, when I tell you all smiling cheek to cheek, I was like, okay, because I love a little guilty pleasure read like brain empty. Obviously, some books are heavier than others. Like if I'm reading Magnolia Parks, I know I'm about to go through it. But if I'm, if I'm reading a book where it's like childhood best friends to lovers, brain off, brain off. I'm laying down, unless it's something like Emily Henry, but that, I don't think um, Alex and Poppy are childhood best friends. I think they're just friends to lovers because they met in college, but they only lived like a town over from each. I think they, they even lived in the same town. I think they lived in a town over, I could be mistaken. Oh my gosh, did y'all hear the news? Like Emily Henry and the director or writer of the, the Beach Read movie that's coming out they both posted Ayo Adebri and Paul Mescal and the for the St. Patty's thing y'all if they are my Alex and Poppy I'll smile really big I'll smile really big a lot of people are scared there might be um January and Gus but I feel like I don't know I just can't see it like my friend Kendra reads she says that she feels like Gus is a black man and I can see it. I, I feel like Gus is interchangeable when it comes to race but in my humble opinion January is a white woman like that is a white woman but I'd love to see her casted as Iowa Debris like that would make me smile so wide like like a Cheshire cat you know but yeah that's literally just happened like yesterday i don't know well if you guys want like a random tag where i could just talk about like my random thoughts and opinions like unpopular opinions on books i can do that too i have a lot um and i'll start with this one i hate age gap i hate age gap in any means of the age and the gap i don't like it i don't like it um and yeah oh by the way i just read so it's mafia march right now but i have a lot of arcs to catch up on so it hasn't really been mafia march for me but i did just finish the deception trilogy by rena kent which is my first rena kent anything a lot of people love rena kent and so i was like okay let me pick this up my friend's been hyping it up second book bully romance hate bully romance despised it um but the first and third books in that trilogy i liked fourth one is the or fourth one the third one last one is the best one it's so good and i guessed the big like <gasps> in the first book there's a lot of deception in the trilogy but the first one i got and i got it like 30 percent into the book too i love my mind I love her. Gosh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Please follow some of my other pages. I am a lot more active on Instagram and TikTok than over here, but I'm going to try to be more active over here. Until next time. Probably when you're not looking, you'll find someone who reads the same books or listens to the same